We're making fried avocado tacos. They're crunchy, they're creamy, and they're absolutely addicting. We need three medium or two large Haas avocados. You'll know when your avocados are just ripe enough. If you look under this little stem here, it should be light green in color. If it's brown, sorry Charlie, your avocado is just too ripe. You're gonna cut your avocado in half. Oh yeah, that's a pretty avocado. Now you wanna go through the flesh, but not through the skin. You're gonna use a spoon to scoop out both wedges. Just run it in between the flesh and the skin all the way around carefully, and you'll have two wedges for each side. We're gonna repeat for the rest of our avocados. Now we're gonna get these babies ready for frying with a super easy breading process. First, we'll dip the avocados in flour that we've seasoned with a little bit of cayenne pepper and salt. Kinda of tap off the excess. Then into a bowl with a quarter cup of Follow Your Heart Veginets and the juice of two limes. Kinda of paint that on there and kind of drip off the excess again. Lastly, some panko breadcrumbs for some serious crunch. And you really wanna pack that on there so it sticks. As you bread, try and keep one hand for dry and one hand for wet. You can see why. If you mix the two, you're gonna have a giant goopy mess. So with my right hand, I'll dredge the avocado in my flour mixture and shake off the excess. Then I'll move to the veginase and paint the sauce with my wet hand. Finally, into the panko breadcrumbs, where I'll use my dry hand again to pack the panko onto the avocado wedge. There we go, relatively, relatively mess-free. Before we fry our avocados, we wanna prep our quick pickled onions, which take just a little bit of time to do their pickling magic. Now slice your onions nice and thin. In order to do that, I use a mandolin, my favorite kitchen tool. Put your onions in a bowl, Add just enough red wine vinegar to cover the onions. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of sugar and a pinch of salt. Give it a good mix and then put the bowl aside for about 15 minutes or so. The onions will quickly pickle. Now we're ready to fry. Our fryer is set to 350 degrees. Don't overcrowd your avocado wedges in the basket. So you might have to do them in batches. Drop them into sizzle. They'll fry for just about one minute. Give it a little shake, get off that oil. We're gonna dump it on a paper towel lined tray. They look incredible. We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt while they're still warm. I just warm our tortillas up on a burner until they're slightly charred and perfectly warm. Now for the thing that brings this whole taco together. Follow your heart chipotle veginase. It's perfectly spicy and creamy. We're gonna spread a little bit of the chipotle veginase on each tortilla. I like a ton of this on my tacos. If you don't like as spicy, just put a thin layer. Now you're gonna add a few pickled onions. Look how beautiful and pink those are. Some sliced radish and our avocado wedge. Garnish with some fresh cilantro. And a garnish with a little bit of lime wedge. There you go, fried avocado tacos. Yum.